Fame is a cruel business, and it's no shock when people can't handle the difference in life when they suddenly hit the big time. Now, imagine being a kid and being hit with all of that stardom. It can really affect a person for the worst. And sometimes no one understands and help seems very difficult to get. In this list, we're going to show you the top 10 famous kids who sadly ruined their career. Macaulay Culkin Macaulay Culkin was one of the most well-renowned child stars to come out of the United States. At the age of 8, he made his first appearances on films Gibraltar and See You in the Morning. But it was Home Alone that he did in the 1980s that really catapulted his career. The movie was one of the highest grossing films of all time and this instantly made Macaulay a star. Unfortunately that seemed to be his peak as he was featured in other films but didn't reach the expectations that were laid on him. To make matters worse, in the lead up to the sequel of Home Alone, there were allegations that his father was mismanaging his money and this resulted in a custody battle between the parents. Later in 2004, Macaulay was arrested for possession of 17 grams of marijuana and other controlled substances. Now Macaulay performs with a Velvet Underground parody band called Peter Underground, where they perform covers of Peter songs. Aaron Carter At age 7, Aaron was a lead singer for the band Dead End before going solo. Aaron, being the brother of Nick Carter of the Backstreet Boys, managed to debut as the opening act for the band at the age of 9. In that performance, he was able to convince record labels of his star power with him signing a record contract and later released his first single, Crush On You. A year later, he released his album and it went gold in several countries, including Germany. At 13, he launched his next album, which did even better than his former collection and reached triple platinum in the US. In 2008, Carter was caught speeding and subsequently marijuana was found in his car. Having dealt with that, he turned to Xanax to deal with the anxiety that he was getting from being on Dancing with the Stars. Many years later, he went into rehab, filed for bankruptcy to clear $3.5 million in debt. He has recently been involved with a few back and forths on Twitter with his brother, Nick. Nick released a statement saying that his brother was having thoughts of killing Nick's pregnant wife. Aaron has gone on Twitter to also show that he's still successful by showing a plaque of his album having 75 million streams on Spotify. Even though there still may be some successes on the music front, it seems as if there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Brian Bronsell From the ages of 3 to 14, he had major roles on shows such as Family Ties, Star Trek The Next Generation and the Disney film Bank Check. At 14, he decided to stop acting and began performing in punk bands including Late Bloomers and Thruster. Later in life, unfortunately he was arrested for driving under the influence and shockingly in 2007 was arrested for assaulting his girlfriend and pleaded guilty to third degree assault with which he was given a two year probation sentence. He was later arrested for a number of drug possession and minor assault charges and even in 2009 he beat his friend over the head with a broken wooden stool while he was intoxicated and was given a further two years probation. He now lives in Colorado where he still plans on pursuing his music dreams. Lindsay Lohan Lindsay Lohan was revealed to the world in the Disney remake The Parent Trap and she truly reached stardom when she was the lead in 2003's Freaky Friday and 2004's Mean Girls. As her fame grew, she was seen more and more at nightclubs. In 2007, she crashed her vehicle into a tree and was later arrested. Two months later, she again was arrested for being involved in a car chase of which she was found in possession of cocaine. She was charged two counts of DUI and one count of reckless driving. She received the sentence of four days in jail. As part of the sentencing, she had to go to rehab. She stayed sober and out of the press for a few years but later reappeared after missing a DUI hearing of which she got sentenced to 90 days in jail. Years later, she got charged for stealing a necklace from a jewelry store, but fortunately since then, we haven't heard any negativity on the tabloids. Only plans of her Lohan Beach House Club in Mykonos 
and the second in road. Hayley Joel Osmond At the age of 5, Hayley first made his TV debut on a pizza ad. This led to his first role on a TV series and the first movie he appeared in was Forrest Gump. He showed up on many other TV shows after that and he finally made the big time with his performance in The Sixth Sense, winning the Saturn Award and being nominated for an Oscar along the way. He was the youngest nominee in history. He didn't stop there and featured on another popular movie, AI, where he won the Saturn Award for the second time and the movie got nominated for an Oscar as well. In present day, Hayley hasn't quite lived up to expectations but had still appeared on TV shows and movies and even worked as a voice actor. But he sadly rapidly disappeared from our screens. Michael Oliver In the 1980s, he made his success from a movie called Problem Child, where the movie made over 54 million in the US and 72 million around the world. Due to the success of the first movie, production decided that there should be a sequel. On the first day of shooting, Michael's mom demanded that the son get paid 500,000 instead of the initial 80,000. So the production team compromised and offered 250,000 instead, depending on if the movie performed well. However, the movie didn't do too well or close to the first one and the studio sued Michael's mom which they won and Michael's family had to pay 170000 to the studio. They had to sell their house and use their savings to pay off the debt. In 2015, it was reported that he was completely satisfied with his life away from filming. Orlando Brown Orlando Brown was tipped to have an amazing career as an actor, rapper and singer. He featured on a number of TV shows such as The Jamie Foxx Show and Family Matters. But the show that really increased his stardom was That So Raven. He played as Eddie, which was an important part of the show, even featuring on the show's theme song. Since 2016, he has been involved in criminal acts and drug abuse. From 2016 till now, he has been arrested five times with drugs and violence being a common theme. He recently made an appearance on Dr. Phil where he appeared to be confused and delusional. He made several claims that just didn't help the credibility of Orlando. Amanda Bynes Amanda rose to Hollywood's A-list in Nickelodeon's sketch comedy All That and its spin-off The Amanda Show. She was the lead role on tons of well-performing movies such as She's the Man, What a Girl Wants and Easy A. She decided to take a break from acting as she was struggling with personal problems. However, she later was arrested numerous times for legal conduct and DUIs. At some point, she attempted to start a fire outside someone's house in California, for which she underwent 72 hours mental health assessment. Fortunately, she's been able to regain control of her finances. She is now pursuing a fashion career by enrolling in fashion design school and she states that she's in a happy and healthy place in her life. Edward Furlong Edward Furlong had his breakout role when he was casted as John Connor on 1991's Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Together with Arnold Schwarzenegger, they worked together to save themselves and the world from the evil cyborg. He was a hit with the movie, even graced the covers of Teen Beat and Pop. He even made appearances on music videos for Living on the Edge. In 1998, he managed to star as Danny Vineyard in American History, but later found himself hospitalized in 2001 due to a suspected overdose. He continued having patterns of drug abuse, arrests and restraining orders, but in 2011, played a pivotal role in the Green Hornet. It looked like this could be a comeback, but again Edward found himself in jail. Being out, he's still acting and here's hoping he bounces back. Jake Lloyd Jake Lloyd got most of his fame by playing the role of young Anakin Skywalker. However, it was this very movie that, as he stated, turned his life into hell. In 2015, Lloyd was arrested for reckless driving, driving without a license, and resisting arrest. His mother stated that his behavior was due to his schizophrenia and that he wasn't taking his psychiatric medication. 
She even added that he attacked her in March of that year because of this condition. As of April 2016, he was transferred to a psychiatric facility after being diagnosed with a severe case. Rumors suggest that he was bullied in high school while shooting Star Wars and triggered nightmares in his head. We truly hope that Jake Lloyd gets better and turns his life around for good. At the end of the day, child stars are normal people and have normal lives, so a mistake or two is allowed. We hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and see you later. Bye for now.